Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Java for Beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking about how we can return objects from methods. So, till now, uh, we used to return different types of data from methods like int, float, or when you are not returning anything from a method, then uh, we specify that method's return type as void. So, as usual, uh, the same way, whenever you want to return an object from a method then you have to specify what type that object is um, so that being said let's uh, quickly move on to our coding and we can say we can write a constructor first okay let's just rename this class back to shirt that was from the previous video and let's just quickly write a constructor that constructs an object if, uh, color equals red size equals 10 and that should take string color and size Okay, so we wrote that constructor, that's a parameterized constructor, and uh, then we can say shirt my shirt equals oops, new shirt and new shirt off. Uh, we also need to pass this is supposed to be. Red and five. Okay, now we have a new object. We have a constructor for the class shirt, and uh, my shirt has uh, red and five as its value for for its color and size. And you can have a method in the class that says um, first. So we are talking about reading objects from methods, right? So you have to specify the written type of that object. So that object is of the type shirt here. And then we say double size or anything like that. Double size. It takes one parameter. Mm, we can say shirt, shirt. All right. So here we can say, we can create a new object, shirt, new shirt equals new shirt sounds good here we can pass shirt dot size plus or just into two into two so yeah doubling the size and then you can say return new shirt new shirt return new shirt all right there you go then uh here you can define another object shirt dot my shirt or just let that be okay shirt just my shirt dot you call the method you call the method you pass in the parameter whatever you want and then you assign uh, whatever the method my mm, double size returns back to my shirt okay we print out the value of so I'm just doing all coding stuff here I'm gonna explain in a minute what's happening my shirt dot size okay so mm, Let's just quickly run this program before I explain anything further. To make sure I haven't made any mistakes, just like that. Formal arguments differ in length. Exactly. How did I miss that thing? So let that be red. Okay, should be fine now. And it gives out 10. So now. Uh, First, we have a constructor for our class that uh, sets um, a newly created object. 
whenever we create an object for the class, it sets its uh, color and size instance variables to red and phi by default for every object that we create. So we create an object my shirt, and we define a method double size. So what that double size basically does is it takes the parameter in object. So here we are passing my shirt as the object. So remember the call by reference technique from the previous video, and the same thing happens here. So it takes uh, the my shirt size up apparently that we can see here. So the object name is different, but still it's my shirt size and uh, it doubles it and sends it as the argument for the new object that we create here that is new shirt. So when we return new shirt, uh, it that is the reference that is that that is being returned back to the object my shirt. Um, this is on the LHS, and um, so if that doesn't make sense to you, let me go through that once again. So we pass the parameter an object. We pass my shirt and that is copied to shirt. The reference is copied to this object shirt in the argument list. And uh, we take the size of the object, I mean, size of my shirt, and we double it. Uh, we say shirt.size into two. So that's one of the parameters for our constructor here, that's size. So we pass double the size uh, for size and we just keep the color as red. And then, uh, the new shirt is constructed here and then we return that object new shirt so that's specified by the return type is shirt we return that object and uh, whatever this object returns is the new values so its value for color will be red and its value for color uh, size will be double the size that we are passing here so first the value for size in my shirt uh, was five and uh, we take that size, we double it, and then construct a new object that's going to be 10, and um, we return that reference back to my shirt. So it points to a new object with uh, the color red, and I mean, my shirt points to a new object with the color red and uh, the double size. And uh, again, if we do that again, then it's going to be first uh, uh, the first value is phi and after the execution of this code it's going to be 10 and again it's going to be 20 so we can check that out as well so it's 20 first phi twos are 10 then 10 twos are 20 uh, so uh, that's all about um, uh, returning objects from methods and uh, in the next video we're going to be talking about uh, I don't know what so um, that's it for this video guys thanks again for watching see you in the next video till then take care bye bye please don't forget to share this video like it and comment if you have any doubts and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel